What's up guys, Jeremy with Everything I Device, and in this video I want to give you guys that are on Windows a quick tutorial on how to unpackage these iOS 7 beta firmwares because they're downloading in .dmg files and .zip files. Uh, now obviously both files are different, which means you're going to need two different programs to basically unpackage them. The first one is for the .zip files and that is WinRAR, link will be down in the description for the download of this program, it is free. And then for the .dmg files, you're going to need Power ISO, which is yet another free download. And again, the link is down in the description for the download on that. So the first, uh, I'm going to show you the .zip file, which is here, the iOS 7 Beta 2, iPod Touch 5th generation. As you can see, it is downloaded as a .zip file. So all you got to do is, once you have WinRAR installed, is go ahead and right-click on the uh, download, or the iOS 7. And we're going to go ahead and do Open With and open with WinRAR, just like so. Go ahead and select on the uh, firmware download, double click it, and then right here is the .ipsw, that is the file you need, or the firmware you need, uh, to actually direct iTunes when you go to update, you know, you select the .ipsw, and that will update it to the beta firmware. So all you gotta do is drag and drop it to your desktop, just like so. It will extract it, it will take a second, this is about a gig in size, so yes, this will take a minute to extract so we'll let it finish up and voila there we go as you can see the file extension is a dot IPSW so now when you go into iTunes you do shift click on update this is the file you select and then it should update perfectly fine so that is the dot zip way let me go ahead and get rid of this yes okay so the other method or the other file you need to un unpackage is a .dmg file, which is a disk image that Macs read and Windows don't. So like I said, you need the power ISO. The first thing you guys are going to want to do before you actually uh, unpackage it is actually launch power ISO. We can close out this advertisement. Go ahead and select on options. Go into configuration. And then right here where there's file associations, we're going to have to scroll down until you see dmg and you will have to check that by default it's not going to be checked so right there go ahead and check on dmg go ahead and click ok and then we can actually just close out of um, power iso just like so and now with your ios 7 beta 2 for iphone 5 here which is obviously the dmg file right click it go ahead and go to open with select power iso close out the advertisement again and then right here is the restore uh, .ipsw, go ahead and same con concept, drag and drop it to your desktop. It will take it a minute to extract. This is actually a little over a gig in size, so yes, this will take a minute. And we're done. Just about. Server busy, whatever. Go away. And we can close out. And again, here is the .ipsw, uh, and that is from the .dmg file, if, I, if you guys are still following me. And again, like I said, now that you have that .ipsw extracted, you can go ahead and launch iTunes, and then um, shift click on update and select this file. Now, if you guys have tried to mess with either of these files before you've unpackaged them, like, uh, let's see here, if we just select this and select the uh, name there, if you guys have tried to change the actual uh, file name from a .dmg to a .ipsw, you probably are going to have to re-download that firmware because it's probably corrupted now. Just an FYI if it doesn't work still, so you might have to do that. And uh, that's going to be basically it for this video, guys. That's how you unpackage a .zip and how you unpackage a .dmg. Again, WinRAR is for .zip. Power ISO is for the .dmg. Both downloads are free, and the links are down in the description, along with the download links for iOS 7 beta firmwares, so be sure to check that out. If this tutorial helped you guys out, definitely throw me a thumbs up, that will help me out tremendously. Also, if you guys want to see more tutorials like this, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.